Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to all of my replay viewers and everyone that's hopping on now. Hello, my name is Keely and I am the owner of lovehopeadventure.com and I blog about the marriage relationship and I talk about um, how to be closer in your marriage and then in intimacy with your spouse. Today, I had something on my mind about should you sleep with your children or should your children sleep with you? Is that okay? Not okay? And how does that affect the marriage? Um, I saw this kind of come across another blogger's website today. And as you can imagine, the comments really blew up and there were a lot of people that were mad at her for saying that with this particular situation that the... Um, the wife needed to quit sleeping with the kids and go back to sleeping with their husband. So this is a huge issue for a lot of families. Being able to sleep at night is so important, um, but so is spending time with your spouse. So it can get really, really difficult. Now, here's the thing that I want to share with you. Whenever a question comes up like this about, should I do this or shouldn't I do this? For the most part, um, people are just going to give you their opinions. And that's all it is, is opinions. And you get to have your own opinion about this thing, and you get to decide what you're going to do. Now, I don't take a harsh stance on most things unless it has to do with the Bible, and I can back it up with the Bible. Nowhere in the world do I see in the Bible that you shouldn't sleep with your children or they shouldn't sleep with you. And the truth is, is that culturally, a lot of cultures, including in those times, people slept in the same rooms, they slept together, um, lots of co-sleeping took place. So, um, you know, culturally, this is definitely accepted in a lot of places. So the real question, though, is should you do that? Should you sleep with your kids or should your kids be able to sleep with you when they, having, when they are having a hard time? And really, that answer is going to depend on you and your spouse. If one of you really feels strongly that the co-sleeping should not happen, then you guys need to work together and come up with a solution to the problem. It would be the same thing about anything. If one person in the relationship is not okay with where things are, both people need to come together and come up with a solution. So... Um, for this particular blogger, they were answering a reader's question where the husband was not happy that his wife had been sleeping in the bed with the toddlers for the last two years. He's not okay with that. He feels like their sex life is diminished on account of it. And man, in that situation, it's not good for her to stay sleeping with the children because it is affecting their marriage. It is affecting their sex life and their intimacy. Now, does that mean that you should never sleep with your children? Not necessarily. That is a decision you and your spouse need to make. And there's a couple of things you should ask yourself. Is my spouse okay with the sleeping arrangements at night? If they're not okay with it, what can we do together to come up with a solution? Um, also, even if your spouse seems to be okay with the sleeping arrangement, um, is your physical intimacy with one another being affected? So if you are the family that chooses to let kids in your bed or to go sleep in their beds, what are you going to do as a couple to make sure that sex is happening on a regular enough basis that both of you guys are getting your needs met? Um, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to put your kids to bed for a few hours and spend time together and then go get in their beds or they come get in yours? Are you going to send them to their rooms earlier in the morning so that you guys can have time together? Are you going to find time in the day or the evening? Uh, one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons that people will say co-sleeping isn't good is that it can affect your sex life. And let me tell you something, it can because you have to be so much more intentional. You have to be very intentional in your sex life anyways, but if you're not going to bed at the same time, if you're not going to the same bedroom at night, you're going to have to be more intentional. And so I think it can get away from people. Um, and now, as far as myself is concerned, I don't co-sleep. This is a personal preference. It is something that I cannot do, all right, when I am the lightest sleeper. 
I won't lie. I really struggle to sleep at night. I always have. Ever since I was a child, I have dealt with this. And for me, if I have even the baby monitors running and I can hear my kids breathing, I can't sleep. I can't sleep with them in my bed. I can't sleep in their bed. I cannot sleep with them in my bedroom. So going out of town and all of us sharing a hotel, that is very hard for me. And I sleep with earplugs now so that I can actually try to sleep while they're sleeping in the room with me. That doesn't work for me. I'm the one that has the problem with the co-sleeping. I don't think my husband would prefer us to co-sleep, but the truth is when he goes to sleep at night, he is dead to the world. And so he has no idea if I'm up or down or kids are up or down or in our bed. As long as it's not bothering him, he really doesn't care what's going on. But it does bother me, so I've chosen not to co-sleep. Now, I know a lot of people will say, but I can't get my kid to sleep unless they're in the bed with me. My answer to that has been, then they just don't sleep. And I know that is not what most people are going to tell you, but this is coming from me, and I really struggle to sleep at night. When I was a kid, we were not allowed to really sleep in the bed with our parents. My mom said, no, you're not sleeping in the bed with me. If your dad lets you in on his side, fine, that's between you and dad, but you're not getting in on my side because I can't sleep with you. So if we were scared at night, we could go into their room and we might lay down with dad for a couple minutes, but we weren't staying there. They had a little bed, all right? They, they slept in a full-size bed until probably I came along. So there wasn't a lot of room. Um, if we were sick, we, pre we stayed in our beds. I mean, I never remember sleeping with my parents, really. She might, my mom might put me out on the couch or one of our, my brothers out on the couch if we were sick, but she wasn't getting in bed with us. And for the most part, we couldn't fit in bed with them anyway. Uh, as a kid though, I had to figure out how to sleep. And if I wasn't sleeping, I had to figure out what to do with myself because I was awake in my bed. And it was the rules in our house. You didn't get up and go out in the house in the middle of the night. And uh, then when I got a little bit older, I would get up and I would clean my room. <laughs> when I was probably like 10 or 11. I mean, I was just getting up in the middle of the night cleaning and that wasn't allowed either because my parents couldn't sleep. Um, so for me, I have had to figure out how to sleep through the night and it's not easy. Um, and for, because I have struggled so much, I have a child, uh, my oldest, who really has struggled to sleep, especially when he was a baby and a young child. He would get up a couple of times a night and I would go into his room and I would give him a passy and I would try to keep him calm, um, you know, and sneak out if he would go back to sleep. But I just really know that as a person who struggles to sleep, routine is very important and sleeping in your bed is very important. So um, he wouldn't have slept well in our bed with us anyway because he's such a light sleeper. So I just made him stay in his bed and he would cry. And he'd wake up my other son and he, you know, that's just what happened. He would have to stay in his bed though. And I would try to help him as much as possible. But those nights I didn't sleep well either. And we just struggled with the sleeping. I did not give up though on my position of not having him in my bed with me. Does that mean you should? No, that you get to make your own decisions. And that's what worked best for my family. Now, it doesn't mean it wasn't hard, and it doesn't mean I wasn't tired, and it doesn't mean that it wasn't a huge struggle, because it absolutely was. My other two children sleep a lot better at night. They have done a whole lot better than my oldest son. My oldest son would get up, and he would come stand by my bed every single night in the middle of the night, for who knows what reason. Just he woke up, and he would come, and he'd stand next to my side of the bed, so... Um, for a long time, I would get up and I would put him back in bed and that was the end of it. Eventually, I got to the point, though, where I told him, go back and get in your bed because I'm not putting you in bed tonight. And so he would do that. He would go back. He would get in his bed. And eventually, I was able to teach him to stay in his room. If he woke up, he needed to take care of that himself and stay in his room. Um, so when I have people tell me, well, my kid just won't sleep. They're not in my bed. Um, I just said then they don't sleep. If, if that is 
you know, that's okay with me because I don't sleep. And I think, okay, well, they're not sleeping. I'm not sleeping, whatever. No one's sleeping. Uh, that has to be what you decide, though. And I know that my advice is kind of harsh and it's like, well, I thought I want them to sleep. Well, I want my kids to sleep, too. Um, but they're going to do it on in their beds, not in mine, because if they're in my bed, I'm not sleeping. If they're in their bed not sleeping, I'm not sleeping. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, for you and your family, though, you have to decide what works best for you. If one spouse is not okay with the sleeping arrangements, you guys have got to figure out together how you're going to make it work. For me and my family, my husband wasn't really affected by the kids being awake at night. He sleeps very soundly. So um, I'm not saying I was completely on my own, but to a degree I kind of was, and I had to make those decisions myself because I'm the one who struggled the most. Um, and he fully supported my decisions. If I had wanted the kids to sleep in the bed, he probably would have tried it out, um, but I didn't want them to. So, you know, if I could wake him up and get him to go give one of the kids a passy at night, he would do that. Um, sometimes it wasn't worth my time, so I didn't try to wake him up, you know. Uh, it just depended on the night. If you're in that place, though, and you think, we need to stop co-sleeping because it's affecting my marriage, my spouse doesn't like it, we're not ever having sex, whatever, work with your spouse to come up with a solution to the problem because here's the thing, it's both of your problems, and neither of you guys should be the one to make the sole decision um, unless, I mean, unless the one party doesn't care at all and the other party does. But um, if you are on the side of the fence where you don't have a problem with co-sleeping and your spouse does have a problem with it, you guys got to find a way to meet in the middle. Thank you guys for joining me today. I know this scope was a little bit longer than usual, but um, obviously I have a lot of feelings about this subject, my own personal experience, and just trying to help people to feel okay with the decisions they've made and when they need to actually make a change. So I hope that you won't make a change because some blogger told you that it was wrong to sleep with your kids. But if your spouse doesn't like it, I hope you will consider figuring out how to make that happen. Um, if you want to find out what I'm blogging about, go over to lovehopeadventure.com. And again, my name is Keely, if you have just joined on with me. And I look forward to seeing you guys later.